Hello and welcome. I'm Prophetess Deanna Kelly, and this is my avatar. And I want to welcome you to our virtual sound tutorial. Here are six ways you can work with your sound and make sure that it's operating correctly. Make sure that you're using the platform correctly. We want to make sure that you're engaging and you're kind of also mindful of the environment that you're in. Number one, please use headphones. Please use headphones. And when I say headphones, I mean, if it plugs into the jack on the side of your computer, if it Bluetooths in, if it USB plugs into your computer, please use it as it enhances the experience that you're going to have in this world. So let's give a round of applause for that, for you using headphones. And let's give another round of applause for your headphones having a mic, okay? When you walk into the world, you end up at the welcome center, you have the moderators coming and approaching you, they're gonna ask you questions, you may be able to hear them, you may be not be able to hear them as your computer is loading or it's coming up. I want you to test it. Let's go to the bottom left, turn it on and start speaking, a thought bubble will come up. And you can turn it off, it will say mic is off. If you need to make sure you're choosing the right microphone, or the right headset microphone duo um, that you're using for this experience, then please go to the upper right hand side. There's a gear. You click on that. You go to mic settings. You choose your microphone that you want to be active. I have my Yeti stereo microphone that also has my headphones attached into it. If you're having other troubles and that's chosen correctly, then you can go to your sound settings. It will take you to your actual PC or Mac OS sound settings, such as this. And you check your input, make sure it's on the right microphone. You check your output, make sure it's on the right microphone and you close. Then you go back to the right down here. You go back to your application and you hit and you hit the little bar right here for microphone activation sensitivity. If indeed you are experiencing some background noise that you cannot control or that you may be bleeding into what you're saying to another partner or in the room, you can move it down to two or move it down to one. It is automatically set at three. To increase it is also to increase the sound sensitivity. Now you can hit done to close the menu. Now that you have found the button on the bottom left to make sure that your mic is on and off, you have checked your mic settings on the upper right. You can also check your preferences in that same menu. In checking your preferences, you have sound options that can also help control the sounds of the environment, such as birds chirping, animations, and etc or the sound effects volume, which has effects for if a user notification pops up or menu clicks happen or anything of the sort, you can keep that below 50% to make sure that when the speaker or presenter is presenting, you're fully engaged into what they're saying. Let's save and close. Now, we have number one, Use your headphones and your headphones must have a mic. Number two, check your mic settings before entering your meeting rooms. Number three is the best rule I ever want to tell you about. Please keep yourself muted as you're talking on the phone in the background. Keep your Keep yourself muted if you're talking to a family member or a coworker in the background, which you shouldn't be while you're engaged with us. We do not want to hear your personal conversation broadcasted across the campus and or broadcasted across the service auditorium or meeting room. So number one, use your headphones. Number two, check your mic settings before entering any rooms. Number three, Keep yourself muted upon, uh, upon initiating any outside conversations and or calls. Number four, to chat with a friend directly. Please click on their name in the menu to the left. 
like so. You'd click to send private chat and then you would type in hello. And hit enter. Now, as you're moving about, you might have a question. Maybe you're lost on the campus. Maybe someone will see you afar off. You can raise your hand. You can raise your hand by clicking on your name, going down to the raise your hand button, clicking on that, and a hand will appear. When you're done and your question has been answered, you can put your hand down by clicking on your name, going down to put down hand, and you can continue on. If in fact your mic is open, you're talking and you're going through the list, you're checking out your new settings, maybe you laughed a little with your settings, maybe you did the samba, who knows? And maybe along the way, somehow you set yourself to a way. Setting yourself away also turns your mic off. It will say an admin has turned off your mic. You might have been causing feedback. Please reopen your mic when you would like to speak again. You can also toggle the mic by holding down the one key when you want to talk. So let's try that. If I hold down the number one while I'm muted here, it will open my mic. But if I let it go, it will close my mic. Let's click this message off by clicking the X. To set myself back as normal, I return to my name. I go to set to status as normal. And then we're back. Many of the prophets and partners have an opportunity to engage with each other in a one-on-one -on -one presbytery session at in this, in this virtual campus, and it's going to be at the Expo Hall, unless otherwise advised. So when you're in the Expo Hall, there are bubbles similar to this one, where you will have the opportunity to walk in, and it will be a private room. It will say private room on the bottom right, and you will walk out, and then you will be back in a general space. When you're moving about from pod to pod, please keep yourself muted as Presbytery is a sacred time where others are getting their prophetic words. And so the sound pollution we would like to keep to a minimum. Thus also our suggestion that you use your headphones. There should not be a time where you don't use your headphones and your Inverbella. Why? It should be a time that the headphones are on because without them, it causes feedback and echoing that becomes a nuisance to the rest of the group. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to cheer for you because you've done such a wonderful job getting through this virtual sound tutorial. Thank you for joining me on this virtual sound tutorial in the virtual Zoe Ministries campus.